In light of the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique situation, now the evil queen at Disney Parks, many prior park fans are beginning to ask themselves, how did we get into this situation? And what is the solution for Disney, Disney World, Disneyland, and everywhere else you might go to experience Mickey and Minnie and the rest of the gang? And how do we do it in a way that is polite and kind even to those with whom we might disagree on both sides? Well, folks, we've got a great, great video for you. Let's tune into it right now. And welcome back, folks, to the Pro Channel. It is, as ever, a real, real treat to have you here with us as we get the studio ready for some explanations. What are those explanations? Well, we explain entertainment. We keep you ahead of the culture curve by understanding what's going on inside the industry. And today, well, there's, there's been some big changes at Disney Parks, apparently, because we're not sure that it matters anymore about your just your general physical characteristics as to who can play what roles. Today we're talking about how in the world did we get into the situation that we're in, and if we're tap dancing a bit, a bit around it, well, there's a reason, and you'll understand, folks, in just a moment. This sucker's hot like a tamale. Let's, let's dive in right now. Oh, I remember Gonzo in a dress. I had, my sister was just like, Disney's not safe. This was like years ago when they found this happened. She's like, do you know they made Gonzo in a dress? I said, yes. Yes, I do. And a lot of parents that I knew were just like, uh-uh, no, screw this. We are not, we're not letting our kids watch this. This yeah. is not something that, you know, that we want to watch. And it's like, okay, if you want to do this stuff, be honest that that's the market that you're going for. And, and if people don't want to watch it, they front. will not. Exactly. Don't sneak it in there. Don't use a Baymax cartoon that's geared mm. towards kids. And you want to drop in there about Baymax shopping for tampons for a transgender female. Yeah, but, but there's, you know, this is not really new. We had all those instances for years when they had what they called gay days at Disneyland and they coordinated with, with and uh, Disney World. gay uh, travel agents and people to put it together, mm -hmm. but they never announced it to the rest of the world. And you had families that had saved up all year to be there and saw what were called what visible displays of affection or whatever, all over the park. And, and you know what? <sighs> They're never coming back. And that was the thing about that bibbity bobbity was not that it happened, not that there was that interaction I mentioned with the girl saying, no, I don't want to look at you. It was mm -hmm. the other hundred families walking by who then had to explain to their kids and answer questions that they didn't really think were ready to be discussed with a child of that age. Right. And to go to back to the whole thing with uh, with gay days, which had been going on unofficially for decades. Everyone knew about it. The stipulation was you couldn't have any PDA. And seeing people, you know, holding hands was okay because according to Disney, it's just like that's a common display of affection that people do, not something that you've got to, you know, it was, it was try the first to, thing uh, about gay days is you don't talk about gay days, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could, you could wear your shirts and everything. Everybody knew, you know, what was, uh, what was going on. Except and families just, from the Midwest who showed up to have a good time and spent a lot of money and said, uh, now and, we and happened to be wearing this. the wrong color shirt that day. Wrong color shirt, <laughs> yeah, but, but also the, fun, the wrong and, pocket. And also the funny thing, funny thing about gay days is, and I was on, you know, Disney planning bulletin boards. Everyone knew where that weekend was. And we were just like, look, you might want to avoid this particular weekend. And this is the reason, you know, this is the reason why. But Disney didn't demonize you for making the decision to not go during that time of year. So let me ask uh, Culture to play devil's advocate if it's okay. Culture, are you up for playing devil's advocate? Sure thing. So Culture, we've heard from some people who say this is not a big deal because, you know, women play Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck all the time. We've heard from some people who've said this is not a big deal because Maleficent, which is supposed to be a character that is towering over others, is sometimes played by a man in Fantasmic from a distance in heavy makeup and the audience can't tell the difference and all of that. Um, we think that this represents the first time we've ever seen this happening in a meet and greet where the character is interacting with guests and therefore the voice and all of that. Um, culture, playing devil's advocate, do you see that there that this might be okay, that this might be something that is not uh, an issue that Disney should clarify. Are we making too much to do about nothing? 
Well, it's strange, Pro, and speaking strictly as a devil, a devil's advocate, it's strange that you have encountered these situations for a very long time in our culture. People go to cabarets all the time that feature, you know, men dressed as women as a form of entertainment. When you walk into a show, you should expect that things are not going to be exactly as they are in the outside world. And if anything, you know, Disney offer, offers an opportunity for you to participate in fantasy in real life. It's you're saying that when you see Bosom Buddies, the title lets you know what it is you're going into? Yeah, and yeah, well, I'm just saying when you when you start to see that. And because, you know, there's a limited supply of women outside of the WNBA that really match the stature of someone that would be that tall. I mean, there are times when, you know, we're just stuck here at Disney uh, with with having to utilize, uh, you know, a, a male that that can pass as female again. You know, they they are out there trying to make the kids feel creepy. Perhaps, you know, this uh, adds an extra creep factor to it. And look, you're going to have to have these conversations with your kids one day that there are people that dress up and pretend that they're something that they're not. In fact, isn't that what all acting is, whether it be on the stage or in the theme park or on the movie screen? Culture, you are television? a great devil's advocate. You are great well, at this. You it's understand. The red shirt. The it's the yeah. red shirt. It gives you that satanic... Uh... <laughs> all right. well, I, I just... I'll, I'll of course add as as needs to be added to that uh the the decision of course should be with parents as opposed to the disney company that is that is right. often when i release exactly. one of these videos on the everything woke channel you say, so you hate this so you do this you don't like that why why do you have a problem with this if you're a grown man and you're doing all these things i say well why do you have a problem with parents being informed on this issue well, it's, right it's, and that's what we're that's what we're advocating for just mm -hmm. let people know what it is they're getting into there is a famous nightclub in San Francisco called Finocchio's, which is a gay, a female impressionist nightclub. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever went there, A, with their children because there's drinking involved, or B, thinking, oh, I took a wrong turn. I thought I was going to Disney on ice. Uh, <laughs> but wait a minute now. Come on. Uh, you can't make that argument anymore, Lou, because now we have alcohol in all the parks. Oh, I thought you were going with the library mm. thing. I'll, I'll oh. go with the alcohol and parks much better. That's an easier topic to tackle. Yes, yes. Pro, Mike? I feel the need to remind you that we have super chats here in just a moment. Oh, sorry. Well, we'll, we'll I haven't even talked yet. No one, it's, no one. It's time to unleash the Mexican Mike. Iron Man. No one, person. no one even Iron has my person. opinion. Look, you see that pro Jonas is ready to leave me behind on the side of the road like an orange vendor. <laughs> No, let the Estrella shine. Yeah. It's time, Mike. Give us your uh, your brillante argument, please. Two snaps, baby. Oh yeah. All right. All right I got to take this wig off. It's too hot. I don't know how he you couldn't. Can... He Lorraine, couldn't hold the snap out any longer. You look like the real Doc Brown. It's too hot. <laughs> so you know, you guys dropped this on me. Kind of, look, late last night I saw the tweet because Jonah sent it to me, and uh, but I didn't read the article, and I had no idea. So I'm just reading the article right as the show starts. And I'm going to confess something to the, on this channel, and I'm going to make an announcement on this channel because I just made a real-life financial decision based on this article. I saw your poll. And so here's the thing. I've got a niece. It's been widely reported that I have still financed I have still fi oops, I have still Disney trips for my family over the last few years. I myself went as recently as February of uh, last year um, uh, with members of my family. And uh, one of my nieces... I was getting married, and she wanted a trip to Disney World, not Disneyland, Disney World. And so I was going to take, like, five people uh, or send five people. Well, first I was going to take five people because I've never been myself um, to Disney uh, to Disney World. Um, and I was like, all right, one last hurrah. You know, I'll go and, you know, just check it out. But I had already mentally, after what happened with Iger and the vote and all that crap, I decided I would pay to send them, but I'm not going to go myself. I'm going to go to Universal instead. Well... After this article, I am now going to cancel that family trip because I was what I was going to do is I was going to give her the money and let her buy the tickets. And if they're watching this live, which they may be back in California, <laughs> this is my family's live announcement that I am not financing that trip to, in August to Orlando at all. I'm not even going to give them the cash so that they can spend the money because I don't want my hardworking dollars indirectly to go to this crap. This is sickening, this is gross, and I will not have any part of my money directly or indirectly, even without my attendance, to go towards this freaking heresy. This is not the company that I fell in love with as a young little kid 
uh, that, that had all kinds of magic. This is not the magic I want anybody to see, and there's no way that I want any dollars that I have uh, that, that come out of my plant tortilla plantation to go to this crap. So, no. So, uh, this is not my family vacation. It's here canceled. And in response to your poll, does this kind of crap make it? Make a difference? Yes, it does, and it just made a difference. Now I know that probably thirty-five hundred to forty-five hundred dollars worth of money, plus hotel, I guess. You know, tickets, fast passes, because there is going to be five days, Lorena. Five days, five people. Is it safe to say that's probably about thirty-five hundred to forty-five hundred bucks? Mm, At least, about right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair, fair. So, so that is now off the table. Disney can go f itself. Well, Mike, here, here instead of canceling the vacation, what about you've got Knott's Berry Farm, you've got Universal, you've got Dollywood, you've got the beach, and trust me, your family, I don't know what they were thinking when they planned this in August, but I don't know if you've heard. Ooh. Dang it, it's hot in August. It's, it's, it's too hot. It's season, season in August. You. you don't want to be there in August? Well, I'm just, whatever. <laughs> I, look, I don't want to be there at all, period. I mean, you know, so uh, I don't know. I'm just, this is, send them, send them to Dollywood really, or the beach. They'll thank really, you for like, it. I get a, I'm so, listen, this is going to sound offensive. I'm glad I got a son and not a daughter. Because I don't know what women have to deal with in the current, like, I women's sports is being canceled. The quality of men is questionable. Whether they are men is even questionable. Like, if I had, like, a young girl <laughs> growing up and today, like, I can't imagine having a daughter and how, much, how difficult that must be to raise a daughter right now. It's hard enough to raise a son. I don't even know what I would do if I was taking my 10, 11, or 12-year-old to Disney and we went on a meet and greet and she met that, that thing. Well, I mean, and, and even it's even worse, that. Mike. What? She might be playing Pokemon Go while she's in the lobby waiting for the mill. <laughs> can, can, I add, can I just add, of course, here they have you know they have this character who is interesting to kids and you know and all this stuff and and they don't know as they're walking up they see the evil queen but they don't the kids don't know what this situation is and the next thing they know is oh my goodness my dad is making a scene. If they're not siding with the dad because the dad is being embarrassing, Disney is literally splitting the family apart on this on this on this issue that that should be very clear. They're they're having to have if you are a good man and you are standing up for your family, they are causing a division between children and what the children want to do and fathers. And for that, it's despicable. That is my opinion. That is not necessarily the opinion of that park place. I am I I, I will make this very clear. I have a judgment on this that has not been cleared by a pro, but this to me is 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 vile. And every time we think Disney might be course correcting, they go and do something like this that makes me say they have no idea what they are doing. They need to resign themselves to being a California company and not marketing to the rest of the world with this madness, this truth denying and, madness. And can I add something? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna add something. As first of all, the fact that they made the father feel somewhat wrong because of his very correct assessment of the situation and rather just say, you know, sir, we're sorry, you're disappointed. Let's refund, you know, refund your yeah. meal. I understand that at least that would be restoration and the situation taken care of instead of basically trying to tell the father, guess what? You should like the fact you should appreciate the fact that we gave you an evil queen that was a man. It's like, no, like I say, after spending like $400, $500 on that to just be insulted by cast members because of that, absolutely, heck, heck no. Hell to the no. Here, to here's a question. That. And this is just, ins it's insidious how they're erasing femininity in this company. Here, here's a thought. Guarantee you they don't do this in the Chinese parks. And that tells you that they care more about what the CCP thinks than what the uh, conservative Christian family thinks. What if this family was Muslim? Can I ask that question? Uh-huh. If you this can. family was Muslim and they said, this is not haram, how dare you do something like that? I really don't think. I think Disney would not have uh, would answered this a different well, way. Let, okay, let me ask another question. What about, because we know there are people in Orlando who go there to try and audition to get these kinds of jobs, what about the actress who didn't get hired in favor of this guy? Don't we care about her career prospects, too, if we respect women? And ladies and gentlemen, we have finished for the day. But do not go away. No, come back and join us again as we release three videos per day 
right here on the Pro Channel at least. Don't forget that we have live shows as well. The Pro Show is live every Tuesday at noon Eastern. And of course, that fills that time slot when Midnight's Edge is missing. They're Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but Pro Show, well, it's on Tuesdays. Oh, and by the way, don't forget that Park Place. It's Thursdays at noon as well. Great stuff on the way, folks. We do it because you're great and you deserve it. Folks, on the way out, like, share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms, it's the notification bell, and drop a comment on down below. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.